Hey everybody, here we are in what will be the final video about the anatomy of decision making. And this is actually one of the issues that came about first with the Kentucky Railway Museum's XLNN 152 boiler barrel. Before the issues came up uh, associated with rivets and seams and offsets and cracks through shanks, the boiler was already unhappy in the form of the reinforcement around the dome opening. First off, this is great. Look right here. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll flip the camera around. Unused rivet holes. What does that mean? Well, you couple that with the rough torch cut outside diameter and inside diameter. This is a replacement reinforcing liner or um, Rogers was really bad about underdoing these uh, dome openings. So it was probably a repair. Might have been just some whatever. Who knows? Point is, that's a used piece of plate. That's why there's extra rivet holes. So that was one thing. You have this liner that is insufficient for a multitude of reasons, engineering things, right? It's all numbers. It's insufficient to properly reinforce the dome opening. But then if you notice back here, there are these extra plates. You've got this thing around the back. You've got this piece here. Why? there. Well, it's just the gift that keeps on giving. Back here, there's a crack. Well, it actually runs more that way. There's a crack. There's a crack in the barrel that was reinforced, but ever so poorly, ever so poorly. And they obviously realized that they needed additional reinforcement on the rear side of the dome opening because of the throttle arrangement here where you've got the throttle rod that comes through a gland directly to part of the dome base that gives the opening strength, right? Well, maybe they realized it, maybe they didn't. Either way, you have rivets that were actually in between pieces of plate. You have rivets that were so close to the edge of plate in places that they weren't doing anything from a engineering standpoint of course so cumulatively cumulatively you stack it all up the first course needed to be replaced that is the most economical and for longevity best decision uh, that can be made and then there were the rivets well then all the holes would have to be reamed. Oh, but wait, some things would have to be replaced anyway because they're too close to the edge of plate. Well, that's a problem. And then you have the dome hole opening. So you add all of those up. There's no point in pouring money into fixing all these issues. So the answer is it's getting a new barrel, an entirely new barrel, a one piece welded assembly, with an S part stamp and aren't we going to have fun showing you what's involved in replacing it. Stay tuned, be sure to like, follow, spread the word, share with your friends.